There are few dull moments in B.C. politics, and today was no exception. The first fall day of the legislature got off to a heated start with one of the smallest parties stealing the spotlight. Our Rob Buffum witnessed today's fireworks and joins us live from the lawn of the legislature. And Rob, this was certainly a passionate start. That's right, Andrew. It sure was, and it was historic as well. It's the first time in decades that there have been four official parties in the legislature. We all wondered how feisty things would get. Well, we did not have to wait long to find out. The fires of division. If the first act is any indication, it is going to be a fiery fall at the B.C. legislature. i got to say, this is not an auspicious start. The normally reserved premier unleashing a response to a question from conservative leader John Rustad. That is this government's fault in terms of it. Who called the sexual orientation and gender identity program in schools divisive. It is outrageous that he would stand here and do this. He sees political advantage in picking on kids and families and teachers and schools who are just trying to do their best for kids who are at risk of suicide. Honorable Chair, shame on him. Choose another question. The rebuke drew a 32-second standing ovation, including from the official opposition, BC United, forced to their feet to applaud the Premier. If we're ever going to, you know, uh, unite with the NDP, it'll be over making sure that vulnerable children aren't being exploited for political partisan purposes. After the exchange, Rustad was defiant. Certainly, it's not my intention to be feisty, but I do intend to hold this government to account, to ask hard questions, and I will not be intimidated by this government. It's the first time in decades there were four official parties, the Conservatives and Greens, with two MLAs each, get to weigh in every question period, pushing their priorities and the buttons of their opponents. For the Conservatives, those opponents include the also right-of-centre BC United. Clearly, John Rostad and the Conservatives are picking wedge issues that they think will work to their advantage and make life difficult for BC United. With two parties now vying for right-of-center votes one year away from an election, it's clear fireworks at the Capitol won't be reserved for Canada Day. NDP, the Green Party, and the BC United Party are all three parties on the left, and three lefts doesn't make it right. Under this new situation, each of the three opposition parties will get 45 seconds to ask a question, and the government will have only 45 seconds to respond. So while all the parties have pledged that civility will be king, it's hard to imagine that this 30-minute question period may not become a lot of zingers and one-liners, Andrew. All right, Rob, BC's housing crisis is also sure to be a factor in the fall session. What can you tell us about that? That's right. Housing is supposed to be front and center on the uh, the agenda for this fall session. Over the next seven weeks, we're told to expect legislation on that, multiple pieces of legislation starting likely next week, including things like multiplexes and things to address basement suites. The tax on flipping, that will come in the springtime. But for now, pretty much all the attention has been on the fireworks that have been taking place during question period. Andrew. And we're only one day in. Rob Buffum live at the legislature for us tonight. Thanks, Rob.